Hi, and welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hitteman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. In this month's tips and tricks, I want to talk to you about customizing your applications and components catalog. So the applications and components catalog can be opened from the side pane. The components shown and the groupings shown are going to be based on your role in your model template. So I'm in a steel detailing role in a model that was started with a steel detailing model template. And I also have some extra tools that I've installed. So if yours doesn't look like mine, that's okay. But what I want to show you is how you can take some of your favorite components and your favorite tools and group them together and then save them away so that, uh, you know, be more accessible in future models. So first off, um, what you want to do is create your own group. As you can see, there's groups for steel detailing, custom components. Um, like I said, this may differ depending on your installation and setup. But if I go under steel detailing and I go to something like beam to column, you know, of all of these components, there might only be a handful that I actually use on a regular basis. So what I'm going to do is create a group just for me. If I right click in the applications and components catalog, I can choose the option for new group. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this group a name. I'm going to call this my stuff. And now the My Stuff group has been added to the Applications and Components catalog. So let's add a couple of my favorite components. Uh, for example, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, 141. So I'm going to right click on that thumbnail, go down to Add to Group, and then I'm going to choose My Stuff. And I'm going to do the same thing with a couple of others. Uh, 151 is good for bent plates, so I add that to My Stuff. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to type in Shear Plate. Go down to 146, which is one of the most common shear plate components that I'm going to use. And if I go back and check in the Applications and Components catalog, you'll see that under My Stuff, if I expand that, now I have Bent Plate 151, Clip Angle 141, and Shear Plate 146. And of course, I can go on with this. But some other kind of neat things that I can do is relocate where this is showing up. Right now, most of these groups are going to be organized based on alphabetical order. So uh, it's going to be grouped by M. My stuff is after multi-converter. But uh, you notice that steel detailing is up at the top. Well, how do we do that? Well, what you can do is click on this little downwards arrow next to your uh, group name. And here's a place you can put things like a description, you can put tags, or importantly, I can put a sort index. So a positive number would move this further down the list, a negative number would move it further up the list. I happen to know that steel detailing has a value of minus 5. It's just a way to force it up to the top. So I'm going to go one past that. I'm going to put a sort index of minus 6. And you notice that once I set that, my stuff now goes to the top of the list underneath recent. Um, so this is a way that if you create multiple groups, maybe you create one for your miscellaneous tools, maybe you create one for your shear connections, maybe you create uh, another one for flooring, um, you can sort those so that all of your groups are going to be up at the top of this list. So let me show you something else that you can do with the Applications and Components catalog. There's things in there that are default to Tecla. Uh, things like your components, things like your macros will be in here, any uh, extensions you add will be in here. But it's also possible to add external applications to this. So if, for example, I wanted to put in there some of the applications I use the most, what I might do is create a group, and I'm going to call this group uh, Other Tools. And then inside of other tools, what I can do is right click on this and choose the option for new application. Now new application allows me to navigate through Windows to find other programs that I might use. One of those might be HGG's ProCam. So I can select ProCam uh, and then that will get added to the component catalog. Maybe some other tools might be things like uh, I use Excel a lot. So I'll go through my program files, find Excel, and add that as an application. So what that means now is that rather than me having to go to my start menu or go to a shortcut or something like that, I can open these programs directly from inside of Tecla Structures using the Applications and Components catalog. Now all of this customization that I'm doing, my own components into, into the My Stuff, uh, adding other tools into Tecla structures. 
Um, that's only being saved to this model right now. So what you want to do if to make this a, a more permanent change is inside of your model folder, there's going to be a file that's updated called componentcatalog.xml. This file contains the organization of the applications and components catalog. So if you take this file and put it inside of a model template, for example, the new projects you start with that model template will contain these groups and these changes. So I hope you found this video helpful. Just a quick little blurb on something that I found very useful, being able to group my favorite tools. If you have more questions about this, you get stuck on anything, as always, you can reach out to your local help desk. And thank you for watching.